Welcome to the Power Query lesson number 2. In this lesson, I will be teaching you very simple thing in Power Query. How do you combine first name and last name? So you have a data in Excel and if you wish to combine first name and last name, how do you combine? You normally insert a column and you use a formula equal concatenate or you say equal B2 and C2. Now you don't have to use a formula. What you have to do is just put the cursor inside the data and we go to the data tab. So this is my data tab and in that you have to search for this area where it is written get and transform data. In get and transform data you have to click on from table. So I will click on from table over here. As soon as you click on it, it will ask you a small dialog box where he will request you to convert your data into table. So you just have to say, okay, what this option is going to do is it is going to convert your data into the table. So if your data has a header, this is a header, make sure you check it on my table has a header and you just say, okay. As soon as you say OK, you see a data has been converted into a table mode and now a new blank fresh screen has come and the name of this editor is Power Query Editor which you can see on the top of the screen. So this is a fresh new window which you are seeing first time and this is a place where you will be doing all the transformation all the changes you will be cleaning all your data so what was our first task i wanted to combine first name and last name so how do we combine let's get started so i will click on the first name over here and then i will press shift and i will click on last name so you have selected both the columns because you wanted to combine this both column or you can even do this way click on the first name this is the heading on this and press shift that is your shift key and press right arrow key you can do this way also after selecting both the columns here you will go to transform so this is your transform tab and in transform tab you will see a option merge column you will even see when you go to the add column in this also you will see a merge column what this will do this will create a new column in which first name and last name will be combined but as of now i don't want to add a new column i wanted to combine this both the column so you will click on transform and you will click on merge column this is the option i click on it and as soon as you click on it, you will get one dialog box where he will ask you, hey, what is a delimiter means between first name and last name, what you need. So as a separator, I will say, I need colon, comma, equal, no, I need a space. So between first name and last name, I need a space new column name and it's a optional it will give the name as a merged but no i wanted to name it as a full name as soon as i say okay this both the columns will be combined and it will give you one column with the name full name and here you go you see a full name has been column has been created and the first name and last name has been combined now what friends after you combine you have to exit from this screen because you were there in the excel screen you clicked on from table you came in the power query editor you made some changes now you have to go out correct so over here you will click on the file tab and over here you get an option close and load what this option will do is it will take this data again into a new fresh excel sheet it will create a new sheet for you so i click on close and load and here you will see a new sheet will be added 
in which your first name and last name is combined interesting so this was just the start to give you the idea how we can do a basic task in power query yes we are going to do more complex scenario but as soon as our lesson progresses i will explain you in more detail so i want you to quickly open this file practice it with the video or after seeing the video and then only go for the next session best of luck and see you in the next video